All right, let's talk finances. Now, there are few money decisions that cause minor financial headaches, and there are other money decisions that cause you to regret your choices for a very long time. Don't I know it? Joining us via Skype is our financial expert, Andy Maddenly, to talk about the moves that we need to avoid at all possible. Andy, what moves are we talking about as it relates to loans or services? Well, one of the most important things is to make sure that you don't ignore calls or ask for help from any of your lenders or service providers. If you, you know, go early, you can a lot of times get, you know, some help from them and your lack of response tells them that you don't care about it and you don't want to send that message. Right. So it's important to ask for help. Yeah, because if you call them and ask for help early, they have a lot of options available to you. If you don't ask early, you may be in a situation where they can't help you, or maybe you end up dealing with the collection agency, not even your lender or service provider, and that could be a real problem. Gotcha. All right, so we've heard this topic come up a lot during this. What should we know about accessing funds in a 401k? Well, with the recent CARES Act, they've made it um, a little bit better if you do decide to do this because you can take three years to pay back the income taxes that might be due on it. There won't be a penalty and loan payments can be, you know, a little bit longer. You just have to show that it's a COVID-19 related expense. Gotcha. And what are some of the concerns though with either of those moves? Well, one of, you know, one of the big concerns is you're going to be taking money out when the market is low. So you're going to be selling low. So you're going to miss out on any opportunity for any recovery. And then also some of the you know rules around this aren't complete. And so you may not know what the full impact will be until the IRS you know, finalizes all of those rules. Gotcha. Any other money mistake we should be avoiding? Yeah, make sure that you don't start building debt to cover your expenses instead of looking at ways to lower your expenses first. Some people will look at running up their credit card debt because it's pretty easy access to cash and think it'll be a short-term thing. But you could run into where you can't get access to any more of um, you know limits and then those payments start going up. So cut expenses first, then use your credit card later. Yeah, we know how devastating the accrual of debt can be. Andy Madley, thank you so much. Uh, and we can catch him on Wednesdays here at CBS4. We appreciate your insight. Thank you.